what is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my aries zodiac sign this is just a quick check-in reading for you guys let's see what's happening with you let's see here clarify the energy of aries please okay number seven daydreams and decisions okay so there have been some things that are heavy on your mind that you're trying to clear out and make a decision about we do have number six healing begins here this is like um kind of like the six of swords energy uh, moving on from clarity or I'm sorry, Six of Cups energy, um, where it's like uh, nostalgic, and Six of Swords energy where you're like moving on to clarity. Um, let's see here. Guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross, and if you need to, please flip them. Let's see here. Clarify the energy of Aries, please. What's going on with Aries on the next time? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Clarify out one more for the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Sun card. Okay, so, and the Eight of Cups, the bottom of the deck. Okay, Eight of Cups is about walking away, you know, abandoning an, a connection here. Okay, leaving something behind that was um, once in an emotional fulfillment at one point, but it's not anymore. Okay, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pint, Pint, uh, Pentacles, yeah. The Queen of Pentacles is that very nurturing, um, financially stable type of energy. Someone that's very grounded, that knows their value, knows their worth. Um, this is also the single parent type of energy as well. So you could be, you know, taking care of work life, taking care of home life here. I do see that you've been very overwhelmed, okay? You've been very overwhelmed to the point where you've uh, carried a lot on your shoulders, okay? You know, I'm going, um, being a single parent, you know, you got a lot going on and that's understandable. But I see the sun energy. So I see that there is some happiness coming. Uh, there's some happiness coming com coming for you. Why can I not talk today? What the world? The, the Ten of Wands, although he looks very tired, very exhausted, he's almost at the end of his journey. And so I see the sun coming out, so... Um, these daydreams and decisions here, you might have been thinking about things like, what can I do to lighten my load? What can I do to make things easier on me? And I feel like you've decided to either cut away a few things, okay, or walk away from a couple things. For example, like maybe some of you were working two or three jobs and you're leaving a job behind and you're cutting, cutting your load down. Maybe, um, you, um, run a few extra errands during the week and it brings a lot of um, stress on you or something like that and you're saying okay well I'm not going to be doing this during the week anymore I'm going to wait till the weekend for others of you it could be uh, money wise sorry guys I yawn there it could be money wise or financially wise okay um, maybe at one point uh, you felt like you didn't have enough money for a certain situation and uh, you were able to um, cut away some extra baggage or some extra fees of something maybe like uh, maybe you had like you signed up for cable it could have been something as small as like signing up for cable and you're like I don't even watch cable let me let go of that and then there's uh, an extra eighty dollars that you're saving each month it could be anything okay clarify the energy of Aries the ace of wands clarify the ace of wands energy whoa seven of pentacles and the queen of cups yeah see you're um bottom of the deck is the chariot so yeah the you're in balance that's for sure because we have the yin and yang energy and then you're moving on this is trying up over difficulty so you've uh, you've hit the difficult roads but you've overcame it okay and you've overcame it beautifully all right in this chariot energy here i do see the ace of wands and the ace of wands is a new passionate fiery beginning for you okay this is also luck being on your side so whatever you're going after or you're doing or you're diving into just know that the universe is uplifting you and uh, rejoicing you and letting you know that this is perfect uh perfect timing for you to do that here we have the seven of pentacles and the queen of cups okay so this is uh like the energy of where you're investing your time okay with the seven of pentacles watching who you invest your time in or what you're investing your time in here even with the queen of cups here it's very motherly type of energy very loving and caring type of energy uh, but it's also very intuitive so i feel like for whatever this is you're listening to your intuition you're watching where you're uh, putting your time and your energy your thoughts and your your um mental and, and heart and love into like you're you're watching out what you invest in you're kind of like sitting back and seeing okay well i spend money on this and i really don't have to let me take that off okay let me cancel that okay or maybe let me cancel this subscription over here or a lot of times i go over to this person's house and they never come see me but i'm always going to see them well, let me scratch that off of my list that's extra time i could be spending on this here or spending by myself or it, it's things like that okay that i'm getting for you 
Um, let's see. What other messages? Let's do the um what's about the ocean oracle? What other messages do you have for Aries? Whoa. Well, those came out fast. We have number five. Change direction with ease. This is a time for change, shape shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is a time to reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a surprise. And that's exactly what I feel that you're doing. You're saying what do I want to spend my time on? What do I want to invest in? You know, you're going through a transition. You're like, okay, well, if this is too much for me, let me let go of this. Uh, if this is not enough for me and I want to do more of that, then I'm going to do more of that, you know, and maybe exit out this over here because I don't really like doing that. Uh, we also have number 16. So inner desires. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. Exactly what I was saying, this Ace of Wands energy. That's the universe uplifting you and saying, hey, this is the time to do exactly what it is that you want. You know, set those intentions, those passions. And they always say when you're doing something that you're very passionate about, that you're that's very meant for you, that you're very driven towards, things always fall into place, okay? But if you're doing something that you have to force yourself to do, that you don't get any enjoyment out of it, you know, a lot of times things happen, okay? Like just simple things, like you go outside, it starts raining, it's supposed to be a sunny day and you're supposed to go play soccer, something you hate doing, but and then it starts raining, you're like, oh, thank God, I really didn't want to go. Like it's, it's, it's thongs, it's thongs, <laughs> my goodness. It's things like that. I'm sorry, guys, I don't know what's going on today. I can't, I cannot speak today. Okay, let's do it's a divine and abundance. They said they want me to do a divine and abundance card. Okay. Divine and abundance card for you. Let's see. What message do you have for Aries? What message do you have for Aries? What is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to know? What message do you have for them? Whoa, that's too many. I can't take that many. Just one, please. Oh, there we go. Okay. So they gave you divine source. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. Okay. So you're listening to your intuition. Exactly what I was saying. Listening to your source, your higher self here. And they're guiding you for what needs to be in your life. What doesn't need to be in your life anymore. It's kind of like um, they're showing me a filter. Like a water filter. And you pour it in there. And it filters out the dirt and the the, the disgusting things and the nasty stuff and then the clean water comes out that you can drink and that's what's happening right now in your life here okay so there's a transition things may be getting shooken up okay and you may feel like oh wow um well why i do need to cut this off and some people may not understand because you may be cutting off friends family members things like that but it's something you've been thinking about for a while you've been getting downloads about it okay you may be having uh daydreams about it like maybe you've been wanting to take a trip or a vacation or something like that and you're like how am i going to take this you know and something comes into you like you get a download of hey you you know something comes up is like oh you should cancel all these subscriptions next thing you know you're saving $150 a month and you're like well now I can take a trip like it's something like that okay I don't feel like it's a big big thing or a big big um, issue or problem like it's something that's being resolved for you that you may not even imagine here let's see I don't know why I got this deck but let's see what comes out so we have this card here and it says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, so you may be caught up doing busy things that aren't making you happy, that aren't making you feel like um, you have everything that you want or you're making good memories. Okay, and again, it's like something is... I don't know what it is. It's like something is happening for you that's saying, hey, now remember to always have fun. Remember to enjoy things. If you don't enjoy it, then cut it away. It's no point of doing it if you don't enjoy it. And I know, for example, like a nine to five job, I get it. It's hard to let go of a job because it pays the bills. But make sure you're doing something on the side that you have a lot of passion for, that you have a lot of desire for, because you never know. That can open up a door to new opportunities and new possibilities. OK, so this is your reading. Aries, I hope that this gives you some insight and some clarity. Guys, I appreciate you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.